Now, I will show the simulation for this PBL. First of all, this is a parameter for the DC motor drive system. Based on, based on the parameter, a calculation is made to obtain the constant that will be used in the torque and speed control loop. After the calculation, the values are entered into the system and analyzed to find out the system is stable or not. Based on the board plot, we found that this system is stable and can be used for the DC motor drive system. Now, I will show the simulation for case A. Based on the simulation released, we found that the motor can operate in 4 quadrants of operation, which is forward motoring, forward braking, reverse motoring, and reverse braking. For case B, we need to show whether the motor can satisfactorily control beyond its rated speed, and analyze the controller's performance if the speed rating is exceeded. First of all, the simulation is run with the rated speed which is 1417 RPM. Then, the simulation continued with the values exceeding the rated value speed which is 2000 RPM and 3000 RPM. Based on the simulation result, the motor speed ran with the same amplitude but when the reference speed was increased, the delay between the reference speed and the reference stop and current increased. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Muhammad Fazli bin Samad. We show the case C that controller beyond its rated torque and its rating current is exceed. In this case, speed has been set to below the rated speed at 500 rpm. And the load top is set to 15 nanometer for exit the rated top. Once the top is exit the rated top, we change the saturation block to expand the limit for the input of the top control loop. Now we can run the simulation to see the output of this parameter that we have input. From the scope, we can see the output for the speed, top, and current. For exceeding the rated top simulation, the speed does not follow the input we set, and it is saturated at 23.86 rpm in the reverse direction, which is way below the set speed. For the top meter, the output top is approximately to 15 nanometer which is 14.95 nanometer and for the current we can see the current exit the rated current at 11.99 ampere the result show that the cascaded control structure can achieve the desired torque large than the rated torque however this ruin the speed control of the motor and it can only run in the reverse motoring mode now we go to case d for case D, the question one, the efficiency comparison between the theoretical and the from the simulation result. So we must use the rated speed and the rated top. So here we put the rated speed one four seven zero, and then rated top which is ten point four five eight meter. And then after we run the simulation, we will get this graph. So the first part of the graph, we get for speed with yellow indicator. And then we go to the second part, which is the top. And the last part is current. So with this uh, result, from the simulation, we can calculate the efficiency of the motor uh, and compare to the theoretical calculation.